Praise be Jesus and Mary. Now and forever. The readings this morning speak to us all about the great love of God and everything he has done uh, to practically compel us to love him. St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, says that Christ emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And so the Son of God, the eternal Son of God, comes down from heaven, takes to himself our human nature, and becomes obedient to the will of the Father, even to torture and death to save us. But Christ continues to empty himself day by day and continues to practice obedience, uh, not only to his Father, but even to priests, to human beings. So Christ empties himself now, not taking uh, on human likeness, but taking on the likeness of bread in the Holy Eucharist. And as I said, being obedient to the priest, when the priest pronounces the words of consecration, Jesus comes down from heaven and is really, truly present among us. And so because of this, every knee should bend before the most blessed sacrament. And the gospel today talks about uh, everyone being invited to this dinner. Okay, there is this dinner which in this world refers to the Eucharistic feast. In the next world, it refers to the feast of the, feast, uh, of the vision of God, when we will be completely satisfied and satiated with the vision of God. And so our Lord talks about the invitation to this dinner, and we see that people come up with all kinds of excuses, right? Um, we could say in this world, uh, there can be many excuses suggested by the devil, the world, and our own flesh. Right? That's what these people are saying. The, they're busy. They have worldly cares and anxieties uh, that concern them, and they don't have time to give themselves over to uh, these heavenly spiritual things. And so the servant um, goes out, and the apostles will be called to evangelize not only the Jews, but also the Gentiles. And so they go out to the highways and hedgerows, that is, all over the world, to call people to this heavenly feast. And so in our own lives, we want to make the Eucharist the center, uh, our everything. Um, as our Lord has invited us, uh, let's not allow any excuses to keep us from coming to adoring our Lord and receiving him in Holy Communion uh, as an anticipation of that eternal banquet which awaits us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.